ladies and gentlemen, and movie lovers of all kind, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I am your host, Brett Murphy, and for today's video, it is going to be another ranking. And I am going to be ranking all seven of the live-action Batman movie actors. So my most anticipated movie of 2022, The Batman, has finally landed in theaters. And with that, it brings us our seventh man, Robert Pattinson, to don the cape and cowl. So how does he compare to decades worth of competition? Well, we're about to find out. As some of you may have noticed, my list is a bit different from others. Some people have included Kevin Conroy from Mask of the Phantasm and Will Arnett from the Lego Batman movie on their list, and others didn't include them but instead included, say, the younger version from Gotham or the older version from the show Titans. I've decided to focus on just the seven actors who portrayed Batman in the live action in a movie. Before I hop into the actual ranking itself, I just wanted to let you all know that I have an entire playlist dedicated to all of my ranking videos. So be sure to check that out and I guarantee you'll find something you like. And so without further ado, let's hop right into things. Number 7. George Clooney George Clooney should have been the perfect Batman. In the 90s, this dude was the pinnacle of handsome. Hell, what am I saying? He still is. Man, woman, and child all feel that way. And on top of that, he's just a damn good actor. But this poor guy was given nothing to work with. Actually, it's worse than that. This was so poorly written that it made him look just plain awful. Because saying he was given nothing to work with implies that he did his best with what he had. But he definitely did not. This movie is terrible, and further to that, it made George Clooney look even worse. Number 6. Val Kilmer For me, Val Kilmer was passable at best. The writing isn't as awful in this one, so I can confidently say that Kilmer did do his best with what he was given to work with. The writing isn't as awful in this one, so I can confidently say that Kilmer did do the best he could with what he had. He was just a fine Bruce Wayne and a fine Batman. Not good, not great, but not terrible either though. Number 5. Adam West Look, one way or another, Adam West is a legend. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what you think or feel about his Batman. He's the OG and one of the most iconic actors who have ever lived. His Batman is the Batman of the 60s, and with that you get exactly what you expect. Some people have a lot of nostalgia for his Batman and I dig that. I personally don't, being that I was born in the 90s and have only seen a few episodes and that was a long, long time ago. But of course I do have to show my respect for the man who did it first. Number 4. Michael Keaton this may be a controversial placement because I know a lot of people adore Keaton's Batman. And now that he is officially coming back in the Flash movie and potentially more projects past that, I have seen more people than ever now saying that he's actually their favorite. I think his Batman is fantastic, I really do. I am so thrilled that he was able to prove all of those naysayers wrong who thought he was just the guy from Mr. Mom or whatever. His Batman is really solid and I love the all black suit with the bright yellow logo. It really does suck Suck though that he couldn't turn his neck basically at all and his fighting style was very weak and clunky. But those aren't really the worst things in the world. It's his Bruce Wayne that doesn't really do it for me. I just don't buy it and that's what sort of knocks his portrayal down a little bit in my own humble opinion. Number 3. Ben Affleck this one may also be a bit controversial because I know that Ben Affleck is many people's favorites too. Especially among the legions of fans who want to see the Snyderverse restored and Ben Affleck back in the cape and cowl. Believe me, I would love to see him back in the role as well and the Snyderverse restored. His Batman is by far the most badass. The warehouse sequence in Batman v Superman is definitely the best live action Batman sequence we have ever gotten. His portrayal of a much darker and and tormented Bruce Wayne is brilliant too. Sadly, I don't feel we get quite enough of that though. His Batman really could have used a standalone project, but instead we just have to take what we got and infer the rest, like the Robin suit and his relationship with his version of the Joker. If we actually got to see all of that, he probably definitely could have snagged that number one spot. But sadly, all we really get from him is his team up movies. Number two, Robert Pattinson. I am so stoked to say that I can confidently place Mr. Pattinson in this runner-up spot. If you follow me on social media at all, especially for the last little while, you will know that I have been defending his casting since the very beginning, and fighting back against those who thought he was just the guy from Twilight. 
it. But he quickly proved everyone wrong when that first trailer dropped, and even more so now that the movie has released. This is by far the most dreary, unstable, and mentally scarred version of the character we have seen. And personally, I dig the shit out of that. It's something so completely different from everything that we got before. It's only year two for his Batman, so he's still learning and has a lot left to learn. But even in just this one movie, even though it is three hours, he grows so much. I love that he gets to narrate the movie. I love that he keeps track of everything in a journal. And I love that he just doesn't care about being Bruce Wayne. He thinks the only way to save the city is by being Batman. But what I love the absolute most is that this is the only version of the character that we have gotten yet that has accurately portrayed the world's greatest detective aspect of the character. Number one, Christian Bale. In my humble opinion, Bale just got every aspect of the character right. Okay, sure, the fighting in these movies isn't very good, but he got the physique right. He got the overall look of both aspects of the character right, and he portrays every dimension of this very layered character flawlessly. The brooding and stoic Batman the charming, arrogant, and rich playboy, and the real man who's caught somewhere in the middle. The one who really doesn't know which side of him is the mask. He did this all so perfectly, giving us what I believe to be the best live-action Batman portrayal as of this point in time. So, that is all for today's video, folks. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with my ranking. While you're at it, feel free to let me know how you would rank all seven of the live-action Batman movie actors. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and if if you'd like to see more content, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that little bell icon. That way you can be notified about all of my latest uploads. And as always, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. And that's a wrap. Hey you, yeah you, if you made it this far, just know I appreciate you. And while you're here, consider hitting that subscribe button.